Hello guys, I proudly welcome you to this quick Microsoft Access database tutorial brought to you by Akos Data Text. My name is Akos Smiler, your instructor for this particular video. Guys, sincerely I apologize for take I mean for having not been able to upload videos persistently as you guys actually wish. Uh, there has been some kind of small changes in my schedules and I'm hoping to actually bring everything to an end in no time and then we'll bounce back to uh, the channel here and upload persistently just to aid you guys. I've seen that a lot more of video requests have actually been made so please if I've not attended to you it is still on my schedule and it's still in my diary we are going to upload any kind of video that anyone has actually requested. So today in today's video we are going to uh, create a database I'm going to share with you on how to create a database to manage your files in Microsoft Access so as we can see in this particular database here I can just add a file by specifying some descriptions as the file name the file type now I specify the departments and also importantly we can just click the attack the select button in here we can browse to our desktop and wherever that we have the file we can actually upload the file right so here I can choose let's say this particular this is a file once I choose it and I I save you will see that the file root which is a file part will also be changed so now I can open this file at any point in time by hitting open and then the the Microsoft access is now going to actually issue the commands to the default file up the default application system that uh, is supposed to open a file and it will be launched for you right here now here we can also click all files and we will see these are the files that we've actually all the files that we have so this database will basically help you manage your files in a manner that saves space on uh, in your Microsoft Access database you know one limitation of access is that it allows your database to grow just up to 2 gigabytes so in creating databases too we are able to also use the attachment data type to attach a lot of files but if you attach files using the attachment data type the file size will also come and occupy space in your access data causing it to grow bigger in no time so if you're looking forward for a way to minimize your microsoft access database for growing in capacity then i recommend that you watch this particular tutorial and when once i'm done you'll find in the description a link to um, the project you can also download and then uh, actually top it up over there so guys uh this is what we are going to do we are going to perform file management in microsoft access so let us stay tuned here okay so we begin by going to file here now i wouldn't like to use my desktop because it is so clumsy now go to new so blank database is what we are actually going to create now now what is the database name so we we'll say file manager so file manager db okay so now let me click here to choose a suitable location for this particular database so now let's say that i'll put it um let me put it in my download folder so let me put it in my download folder so here i'll put it here uh i'll hit okay okay so now we, we hit create and within some few minutes our database actually gets created or becomes created for us here okay so now we are not going to use this so let's close this all right guys so we start by creating our first table so uh, basically you're not going to uh, need a lot more of tables this is just a simple database one or two tables will actually be able to uh, I mean do for us depending on how you want to actually uh, describe your files if you want to your files will be coming in and we want to assign your files to departments or certain people they have to create table to handle those people also but in here I assume that we are only going to be adding the files and then also describing it by the file name and then the file type also so you feel free if you want to go a lot more of ways in actually describing it by department classes or specific supervisors then you have to create tables for all those people we all have a tons of videos that teaches how to create tables in microsoft Access, so you can watch them if you're a newbie okay so we go to create here now we go to table design so table design so here we are going to say file id so file id i'll make it auto number here now primary key okay so once we have the file id now let's say the file name short test so short test let us limit it to let's say 30 now also we have the file type so what is the file type so file type uh, we are going to actually make it option so it's be an option field so look up okay so here we choose i want the lookup to i want to type in the values ourselves 
because we don't have any table in here to fetch the values from the list. I mean, the values in the list from. So the file type we have PDF. So we have PDF, we have Excel, we have Word, we have PowerPoint, we have um, so we have HTML, a lot more of file types. So we also have images. So the file type we specify all of them here. You go to next, limit to list, finish. Okay, so now that we have the file type, so what we are going to do here, we are going to say the file part. We need to store the part of the file, which is very much important. So the file part is also going to be uh, a short test. So over here, uh, we are going to actually leave it at, uh, let's say, 100. The full size, we leave it at 100 now here. Okay, so now that we are done, we will save this. So we are going to say files storage so we say tbl files storage okay so tbl file storage let us rename our table properly so rename tbl file storage okay so now that we are here we can actually create a table for a form for this so we open now we go to create form wizard so now here we go to we select all the fields to be added to the form now column now next so let us choose to modify the form design a bit okay so here we hit finish okay so now we are going to we're not going to do much in the form design so basically what we are interested in is the engineering behind this database you can watch the videos other videos in my playlist to um, top up your skills in form designing so we have we can say file manager so file manager so now here we have the file manager so here let me so we have this here okay so we select everything here now the color here i'll make it black now over here the color the header the color let's make it um so let's make it blue so in here we can actually increase our size a bit okay now let's make this a pop-up form okay so the file id we shouldn't be able to enter anything in the file id because it's, it's an automatic field so what we're gonna do is that we go to design view we click inside here now data tab enabled we said no locked we said yes so now you can change the background color so let's change the background color here to okay so gray is okay for us now okay so now this is how far that if actually comes so what we are going to do next is that we are actually going to pull this guy here so we pull this guy right in here now we add a button so a fresh button will be added right here so let me add a button here now this button we are going to name it so that will be browse so you browse the browse button okay so the button type let's format it a bit so let's choose this now the styles let's choose the style okay so now here we can change it to 16 now let us try to add a picture to this so we come to format and then picture we click here so you can say pin folder is what we are going to use now we hit ok here so now we can see the picture has only occupied the space here so we have to show the caption so picture caption and the format tab now we put it to the right ok so now here the name is actually file type which is exactly what we actually want so now let's come back here and then we add another text box so the text box we are going to add it here so we don't need a label and the name we are going to actually call it so let me put it down here so that we can see and compare it along as we move forward okay so the color is 12 now we are going to the name must be txt for so txt file okay so now we have this txt file over here okay so without not much we do 
we are going to add some couple of uh, codes now to uh, this particular browse button so here first button which is a browse button we click it now event on click we hit here code builder okay so now it's a very simple uh, code that we are going to actually put in here so we are going to write a code that will actually browse over our PC to get the file for us here so here we say get the file from this PC so here we say with application dot file so with application dot file dialog now here we open a bracket so we say MSO so MSO file dialog file picker okay which is exactly what we want here so so the library which contains this symbol is not referenced by the current place. So the symbol is only fine. Would you like to add a reference library now? Yes. So now we've already added we've added the reference library. Okay. So now here we say dot show. So dot show. So dot show me. Now show me dot cst file. So it's equal to dot selected items now how many items selected only one item you're going to select with this particular project okay so here we now can save this so once we are done we began by saying with so we also say end with okay so now this is just the codes that you need uh, to browse to your desktop and getting the file to be stored actually in your um, in your in your system or in the table so now the file root is going to be stored here so let, let's see whether we got this one right so txt file so let's see whether that's exa exactly the same thing we did here so me.txt file here okay guys so now let us try some couple of them and see so let us now add the buttons that we we'll need so the first button we are going to need we will need the save button so here save we will need the add button then the delete button also so this will be delete button now let's say this will be the save or refresh okay so now let's add one more button that will do the add for us so we click here and now once we browse record operations add new record so here we say new item so finish okay so let's select now size is 12 so we do this here okay so now we we click so on click macro builder code builder now code builder here what they're going to say do cmd dot refresh okay so we'll come back later on to add some couple of lines to this particular save uh button macro now here we right click build event macro and we'll say so this is going to delete a record for us so we say delete record okay so guys now let us actually test this thing out so here let's say that our first file goes by the name football protocol and the file type is a pdf now let's click here so once we click the browse now it sends us to our desktop or sorry our explorer and now we can add the file so let's say this is a file so uh i'll add a file i'll hit ok so now you can see that the file has been attached neatly over here so once we save you are good to go okay but now our file is saved all right but you can see that this text box over here is not connected to our table so we are going to update the vba code that we have over here so that it can actually pass the data from this side onto the file path which can then be stored in our table because now once we refresh you can see that the file path isn't actually stored so we need to also get a file path so let's go to the design view again so here we come 
okay before then let me add these guys here so that we can see whatever that we are doing okay so we select size widest okay so now here what we do is that we go to this save button so let's make it green so that it stands out okay okay so here what we do here is that now we right click note this one is far apart and now what we have here this text box is also uh, txt so we have txt file then we have txt far apart so we have to take note of that because that is what we are actually going to uh, uh, use in assigning uh, the data from that particular source onto the new source so here we right click the build events we come back here again okay so in here what we are going to do is that after they do cmd save now so we need to reverse these guys so me dot file parts will now be equal to so this will be equal to me dot file name dot value okay and do sh this this should actually work for us here okay so let us close everything now let's start afresh so let me delete this so that we can add a new record okay so now say football protocol now what is the file part so let's say the file type is pdf our browse now let's assign the pdf file so we choose this we hit ok now we can save okay so now here once we save you can see that the the file is the file has now come in here so this means that we actually missing some things out so guys let's go in and then take time to fix this so the text box is actually txt file and now we have a file path so browse file so csd file then file path so file so txt file okay so me.file part should now be equal to me.txt file txt file dot value okay it's because what we have here is txt file and this is file part we could see previously it was given as a file name which isn't what we want okay so now let us save and i can see that we've been able to now fetch it right in here so if you go to the tsb file storage now we have our file needly stored over here so what we do next is that we can hide this so format we hide the text box so it won't show anywhere again and now we can bring these guys closer here so let's add some couple of files before we actually move on to uh, perform the opening so new file now let's say uh, signing sheets signing sheets today now the file type let's say it's actually a word file we browse so you can see so let's say this is the signing sheets now we hit ok now once we hit ok we can save and now we've been able to capture the file part so now you can see that the file part is also being captured in our table let's add one more file so let's say so we are going to say uh, not not deal sheet so file part let's say it's word we browse now where do we have the file so we have this document now we can add it here and we can save so you can see the file part is now being captured neatly here okay so what we can do is that we can actually enlarge these guys here so that the file part will always show in full okay so now that we are here we go to file and once we open you can see that now we are being able to capture files into our database and they are populating over here now the next thing that we do is that we add a button we add a button that we can actually use to okay so now we add the last button that will help us open the file so we go to design view we click here now we bring these guys here so we close now let's say open so let's say open open file so now this open file once we click it should be able to actually launch our file for us here so we click now 
file size 12 is okay here yeah. okay so here right click build events code builder okay so once you here what we do here is that we say on error go to go to error so let's first handle errors now we say application application dot follow hyperlink me dot so the hyperlink is stored in me dot file part so me dot file part as you can see me dot file part okay so me dot file part okay now we save it okay so let's continue with our error handling so here we say we exit the sub so we exit the sub error one so we exit the sub error one so here error one is here okay so now here we say msg box msg box so msg box l dot description comma VB information comma system error okay so now what we are doing here is that basically you could have just put this guy over there but in case of error uh, there's other lines of code is supposed to handle our errors for us so we save now once we hit here and we come back here okay so now let's open any of the files and see so customer general balance filter file now let us hit open so we give it some few minutes and our system should be able to open for us so here guys you can see okay so now you can see that the file is now open for us neatly here okay so you can browse to the other files so let's say assignment csd we hit open and now you can see that everything gets imported for us sorry the file now is open for us so now we've been able to actually accomplish what we wanted to do so now we are actually handling our file roots in our database and once we search for any file of our choice we can just hit open and the file will become uh, will be open actually for us here so now the next thing is that we should be able to show all the files uh, down here so what we do next is that we create a tabular uh, we create a tabular a tabular form so we go to create form wizard now here what we need is a file name the file type and a file part so we go to nest now we go to we want a, a tabular form so nest so we say frm files now modify the form of course okay so i'll say all files at the top here okay now let me select these guys here 12 and then i click this okay so now file part is also here we can close these guys a bit okay so now here we wouldn't need any uh navigation buttons so we wouldn't need navigation buttons here so let's come in here and now we have our files neatly showing us here so we can enlarge the size right click here size tallest okay so we come down here all right so now what we do next is that we add a button so we click here now we say open so open okay so let's select this now here we come okay so this guy let's enlarge it so 20 is okay okay so now what we do is that we copy so now we, we come to the file storage here so the we will need this line to actually open the files for us in the tabular form so let's save it so here we go to design view again right click here open build event code builder 
so now we paste it here and we are good to go guys okay so now against any of the files so whichever one that you want to actually open once you hit your open you can see it actually gets open for you automatically so this is as simple as that so now the next thing we do is that we go we come in here and then we can choose to also show all the files here so we click and then we bring everything neatly here okay so once we are here we can now enlarge it and then also shape outline transparent we make sure that we are not going to link any child in master field okay now once it is highlighted horizontal anchor you set it to both vertical anchor we set it to both now once we come and we open it as soon as we add a file so let's add a file so let's uh, let's say uh personal ac so your file type let's say it's actually a, a pdf you browse the file now where is the file let's assume this is the file uh, so we add it here now once we save you can see that personal essay is now here so as soon as you hit open it will be open for you and you can also enlarge it as such also so guys it's been such a uh, quite a long video we've come to an end i believe this one has really helped you if you have any question regarding any process kindly feel free to contact me you can also find the link in the description below for the file i mean to use and then manipulate in your own means thank you so much see you in the next video bye